Hi guys, today is the day after Christmas and Barnes just posted that they are having their end of the year sale. Last year, I can't remember exactly what it was. Maybe it was 30% off all hardcovers, but this year it's 33%. And the Barnes & Noble membership discounts are stackable. You also get, I think it's like $20 in rewards for every $50 spent, which is really crazy. So obviously, I am here and we're going to do some shopping today. I wish that it was not all hardcovers although i do kind of like hardcovers more these days i used to like really hate them and only do paperbacks but uh, i don't know i'm kind of on board let's go check it out see what they have i feel like there's not a ton of new releases out right now but we'll see oh my gosh you guys it was packed in there today the lines were so long so i didn't really record much but i did get a decent haul going here i think i ended up getting 40 dollars in reward she said that they don't appear on my account until next week though so i'll give you guys a haul on everything that i got when I'm home later, I also got a few other books the other day, so I'll include those too. But yeah, I'm so excited! Okay, I am back and ready with my haul. These are all the books that I picked up from the Barnes & Noble sale. The ones behind me, that little stack, are books that I picked up like right before Christmas. And one of them is a hardcover, so I wish that I waited a little bit. So I'm gonna start off with these books first. And honestly, there's like two of these that I had like kind of on my radar before going in, but most of these hadn't heard of. Picked up on a whim, don't even really know what they're about. And that is where they get you with these sales. Let's start off with this one, which I honestly grabbed because of the cover. I always judge a book by its cover. This is called Vintage Contemporaries, and it sounded interesting. It's described as a stunning and spectacularly enjoyable debut of a coming of age in New York City. Coming of age and New York City as a main character. Some of my favorite things to read about. The joys of unexpected life-altering friendships, the power of finding ourselves, and the importance of forgiving ourselves when we inevitably mess it all up. It says that Vintage Contemporaries is a sharp and hilarious novel that will remind you of the power of fighting for the cause, the pain of failing the ones you love, and the happiness of finding your place in the world. So I feel like this is going to tear my heart out, make me cry, ultimately be a very enjoyable and relatable read. Also, as I go through all of these, let me know if you have read any of these and what you thought. This is one that I hadn't heard of before going in, but it definitely caught my eye and it sounded like something that I would really like. So I'm really excited for this one. This next one is one that I wanted to read last summer, summer 2023. This is Bad Summer People by Emma Rosenblatt. This one has two main characters that always enjoy the summer on Fire Island. Their husbands have summered together on the island since childhood, despite life long grudges and numerous secrets. Their one single friend is looking to meet her match, whether he's a tennis pro or someone else's husband. <laughs> Even with plenty to gossip about, this season starts out quiet as any other until a body is discovered face down on the boardwalk. These like sort of like domestic thrillers always drag me in. I love to read about rich, messy people. Basically, a dark Real Housewives is what I'm looking for. That is my favorite form of entertainment, and I feel like this is going to be perfect. I am going to hold off on reading this one until summertime though, but I'm so excited. This next one is one that I definitely heard of. This is on my radar, something that I picked up and put down numerous times. I don't know why I just never ended up getting it, but since it was on sale, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do it. I've heard a ton of good reviews about this one. This one was super popular in 2023. Basically, this book is about a group of college friends that always have like little living funerals for each other at Big Sur. I think this is like a yearly thing. And a living funeral is a celebration to remind themselves that life is worth living, that their lives mean something to one another, if not to themselves. But this reunion is different. This time, Jordan is sitting on a secret that will upend their pack. Is this going to make me sob as well? I do really enjoy a sad book and I feel like this is gonna make me cry. This next one, really have no idea what I'm getting myself into here. It just, it sounded kind of good. I picked it up on an impulse. I really needed like one other book to get to the, like the $40 in rewards or whatever. So I was like, okay, 
let's do this this is the wife app by carolyn mackler and i just realized that there is a quote by judy bloom on the back i love judy bloom it starts out as a joke on a tipsy night out with lauren madeline and sophie who rail against everything that wives do for free let's build an app that monetizes the mental load and maybe get revenge on our exes in the process. Soon the wife app is born and before long, it's the fastest growing startup in New York City, because of course. But life intervenes, the ex-husbands intervene, and the consequences are bigger than anything Lauren, Madeline, and Sophie could have expected. Like I said, I don't really know. <laughs> I don't really know what this is about. They build an app. I don't know if people are doing the services that wives do or, I I don't know how the app works. I don't really know. Sounds cute. It sounds funny. If you've read it, let me know. The next book I have, I've definitely picked this one up before. I don't know why I didn't get it previously, but this is The Garnet Girls, and it's about the Garnet sisters, who are three very different sisters. But it's also about their free-spirited mother, who has a forbidden, passionate, and all-encompassing love affair that was also ultimately doomed. So when that man walked out of the mother's life, she locked herself away, leaving her three daughters to run wild on the gorgeous island they called home. Now, years later, the sisters and their mothers are together again, and beneath the surface, changes are brewing. This one sounds really good, and it also talks about revealing like a dark family secret, which of course I love so much. The cover alone has me like dreaming of summer already, so I might put this one off for summer as well. It just seems like it would have like such a dreamy setting. The next book I have is The Other Half by Charlotte Vassal, and this is like very on theme with the dark Real Housewives sort of vibe that I love. This book is about how the other half lives and how they die. Rupert's 30th birthday is a black tie event, but the next morning, his girlfriend is found murdered. A single stiletto heel jutting from under a bush. My neighbors are screaming. I don't know what's happening. As they search for the dark truth beneath the luxurious life of these London socialites, a wall of staggering wealth and privilege threatens to shut down the investigation before it's even begun. Moving on to my other book stack. The first one I have is Before We Were Innocent by Ella Berman. And this was weirdly on my Christmas list for last Christmas. This one is about a summer in Greece for three best friends that ends in the unthinkable when only two return. The two best friends in this book were cleared of any involvement with their other friend's death during their trip to Greece. Now it's 10 years later, one of the girls has shown up again on her old best friend's doorstep needing a favor. But as the two friends try desperately to shake off the past, they have to face reality. Can you ever be an innocent woman when everyone wants you to be guilty? So this sounds like another fictional true crime sort of vibe. I'm so excited about this one. I've been wanting to read it for a very long time. Then I have Five Bad Deeds by Cass Freer. The main character in this book receives an anonymous note saying people have to learn that there are consequences. She has no idea why anyone would send this to her. She's no angel, a white lie here or there, but she hasn't done anything to gain some anonymous enemy, at least not intentionally. The intention doesn't matter to the letter writer who blames this supposed good person for all all the bad they've experienced. Maybe they have reason to, because few of us get through life without leaving a black mark on someone else's. This one's like a psychological thriller and it just sounded amazing. I also just really like the cover, the colors are so pretty. And then I have Search History by Amy Taylor. And this is another one that obviously the cover drew my eye. This one I don't, like I don't fully understand what's going on here. The main character, Anna, all she has to really show for herself is an unfulfilling job at a tech startup and one particularly questionable dating app experience. But then she finds Evan. He's great, he's charming, she's enjoying this. And as much as she wants to just let the relationship unfold IRL, she cannot resist the urge to track him down online. When she discovers that his previous girlfriend died unexpectedly, Anna begins to worry that she's living in the shadow of his lost love. Basically, Anna ends up going down a rabbit hole and asking the question, which is our true self? The one we show the world online or the one we keep to ourselves? So I, I don't know. I have no real expectations with this book. It sounded intriguing enough to pick up, but I'm not entirely sure what I'm in for here, so I don't know. And then I got Sometimes I Lie by Alice Feeney. I'm a huge fan of Alice Feeney books, and this is one that I haven't read by her yet. All I know about this book is that the main character is in a coma, her husband does not love her anymore, and sometimes she lies. The main character 
finds herself in a hospital and is conscious of the fact that she is in a coma. She can't move, she can't speak. She doesn't remember anything that happened to her, but she has a sneaking suspicion that her husband had something to do with it. Or her sister. Or maybe both. Terrified and trapped inside her own body, she slowly begins to remember a night that changed her life. Another psychological thriller, and Alice Feeney is really good about making you think that you know what's happening in the books, and then being completely off base. Kind of like an unreliable narrator, I don't know if that will be the case in this book, but in the past, that's kind of her thing. And lastly, I actually ordered this one from Pango Books because Amelia has a new book coming out either January or February 2024. And I just read Woke Up Like This by her and loved it. I also really enjoyed X's and O's. I wanted to get this book to add to my little Amelia stack that I have going on right here because I also framed this really cute note by her. <laughs> But this book is set on you and this is part of the influencer series and it's not like a series you need to read in like chronological order or even read every single book but as far as i understand these characters are in like the same world like i think that this might be the sister or some sort of family member i'm not really sure i don't really remember of uh the main character in x's and o's so there's that connection but it's not like you need all the information from this book to read the next book if that makes sense each of these books you have some sort of influencer like this one is a fitness influencer x's and o's was a book influencer so i think that this will be cute x's and o's was just like a very cute little rom-com it was just like good vibes happy adorable i loved it this one says it's about a gym nemesis that pushes a fitness influencer to the max so i'm excited to read this one i think that it will be very cute and those are all the new books that i have going into 2024 i'm so excited i have no idea which one i'm going to read first like i said let me know if you have read any of these books that i mentioned today and what you thought about them i also just wanted to shout out my book club if you're interested in joining i'll have a link down below our january book is the other mothers by katherine faulkner and i'm really excited for this one rich snobby housewives being messy maybe murdering people i don't know we'll see and we can see together if you join my book club <laughs> i also just decluttered a ton of my books and have them listed for sale on my pingo books which will also be listed down below if you are trying to buy some books for the new year as well thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys again very soon bye